Shared read. Genre, realistic fiction. The Bully. Michael saw trouble coming from the end of the school hallway. Standing by the stairs was J.T., the school bully. He seemed to enjoy taunting anyone he felt like. He was tall and strong, so few of his victims stood up to him to defend themselves. Michael hated the idea that he let J.T. get away with bullying others. Yet, like most of the other kids who were picked on, he usually just took it quietly. J.T. walked toward Michael, his eyes locked on the books that Michael carried. He stopped abruptly and snapped at Michael. Hey, let me see those books. A group of students watched as Michael held out the books, trying not to tremble and reveal how nervous he was. J.T. grabbed a math book, looked inside, and then shoved it at Michael, who dropped all the books he held. Hey, those books are school property, J.T. barked, so don't let them fall to the floor. Then he walked away, laughing loudly. Michael, his cheeks turning red, half kicked the fallen books. Suddenly, a hand picked up one of the books. You look like you could use an ally, a friendly voice said with a laugh. Michael turned and saw that it was Ramon. He was the school's star baseball player, basketball player, and everything else player you could name. Michael couldn't believe he was stopping to help him. The two had barely spoken to each other since the year began. Thanks, Michael sighed. I don't know what his problem is. In my opinion, Ramon said, you need to find a way to end this conflict with JT. Michael nodded, unsure what to say. Well, Ramon continued, I can tell you what my grandmother used to tell me whenever I had a problem with someone. She'd say, you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Looking puzzled, Michael asked, what does that mean? It means that being kind to your enemies may work better than being angry at them, Ramon explained. What if you just intervene and tell JT to stop picking on me, Michael suggested. I'll bet he'll leave me alone if you threaten him. That's vinegar, Ramon laughed as he walked away. Try honey instead. That night, Michael thought about the advice Ramon had given him. It sounded like a good plan, but Michael wasn't confident that Ramon's suggestion would work. The next day, when J.T. saw Michael, he walked straight towards him. Michael knew it would be just a matter of seconds before the two of them collided in the middle of the hall. As J.T. came nearer, Michael wished he had Ramon's protective arm to stop the bully from attacking. Then, suddenly, the unexpected happened. J.T. accidentally tripped. He fell down, and his own armful of books went flying across the floor. The crowd of students in the hallway froze, waiting to see what J.T. would do next. As J.T. slowly stood up, Michael had an idea. He bent down and helped J.T. pick up his books. Michael said, you look like you could use an ally. J.T. was speechless at Michael's kindness. He took the books and muttered quickly, Uh, thanks. As J.T. walked away, Michael saw Ramon, who gave him a big smile and a thumbs up. My grandmother would be proud of you, Ramon said. It's just honey, Michael grinned. I hope it sticks.